In this video, we'll take a quick look at Sika Rugir, an advanced method of running PC games on Mac. Sika Rugir is a Mac app that manages Wine Engines and lets you take Windows programs and turn them into self-contained Mac apps. It's not for beginners though. It's really meant for developers who want to throw together a quick Mac OS port. So if your goal is to regularly run PC games on your Mac, Crossover 25 is still by far the best option. Crossover is easy to use. There are no extra setup steps like using Terminal to install Homebrew. It uses the latest technologies like Game Porting Toolkit 3.0, is consistently updated with new features, and you can get really useful tech support from Codeweaver's incredible team. You can use my promo code MACPROTIPS to get 10% off. But I'll do you one better, Andrew Tsai's code, Apple Gaming Wiki, gets you 20% off. These codes don't stack, so just go with the 20%. Or you can wait until Cyber Monday on December 1st, when Codeweavers usually offers big discounts. Last year they were offering 70% off, which is incredible. Either way, I can't recommend Crossover enough, and it's easily the best way to run PC games on Mac. But if you're in a pinch or want to test some games with more advanced options, Sika Rugir is a great option to have. Here's how it works. The main Sika Gear app is called Sika Gear Creator. It lets you choose a wine engine and create a wrapper that runs PC games and apps like a native Mac program. Each wrapper has a configuration window where you set options like which Windows EXE you want to run or what graphics backend to use, like GPTK or DXMT. So basically what we're going to do in this tutorial is create a new wrapper using Sika Gear double click the wrapper to open its configure window, configure the wrapper to use the graphics backend we want like GPTK or DXMT, then we're going to choose the EXE that we want to launch when we double click our wrapper, and lastly we'll launch the wrapper which will open Steam and let us download some games. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is go to our web browser and we're going to go to brew.sh. Then we can either copy this script here and paste it into terminal, or we can try the new macOS package installer. Let's try that. So I'm gonna click this link here, and under assets, we're going to download the latest version of Homebrew. Once downloaded, we're going to double click the Homebrew package to open it. We can click continue, continue, agree, and install. Once the installation is complete, we can exit out of that and Homebrew should be installed on our Mac. So we can open Terminal and we can type in brew space help and then hit enter. And you can see we get all of this Homebrew information confirming that we successfully installed Homebrew onto our Mac. So now we're ready to install Sika Gear. So I'm going to go back to my web browser and I'm going to Google Sika Gear. So we want this top GitHub link. On the main page, it says a user-friendly tool used to make wine-wrapped ports of Windows software for Mac OS. Contributors GSENX and Vitor251093. Big shout out to the devs for making such a useful app. So it says how to install using Homebrew. And it's gonna have us copy this script here. And then we can go back to terminal and paste it and then hit enter. Once installed, we can exit out of Terminal, and we should be able to go to our Applications folder and find the Sika Rugir Creator. Let's launch it. So this is where we're going to create our different wrappers. So we can click the plus button here, and we can choose from the available engines provided. We want to use WS12 Wine Sika Rugir 10.0. So I'm going to select that, and then I'm going to click Download and Install. Once we've installed the engine, we can then select it and click Create New Blank Wrapper. So I'm going to use this wrapper to run Steam. So let's name it Steam, and then hit OK. After clicking OK, make sure to give Sikaru Gear a few moments to process.
Once the wrapper is done being created, we can click view wrapper and finder. And you can see that it's storing our wrapper in users, my username, which is Mac Pro Tips, applications, Sikaru gear. And this is a different applications folder than the one you usually go to uh, to launch apps. So to get to this one, you'll need to go to your Macintosh HD, go to your users, and then go to the applications folder there. And that's where you'll find the Sikaru gear folder. So now that we've created our first wrapper, we can double click it and it's going to launch the configure window. This is where we select what EXE will be launched when we double click our wrapper. So since it was the first time we double clicked it, we got the configure window. But once we select something here, uh, future instances where I double click my wrapper, it will launch the app that I've selected. To get back to your wrapper's configuration window, you can right click the wrapper, click show package contents, go into the contents folder, and then double click the configure launcher. So we need to install Steam. So to do this, I'm gonna click Wine Tricks. And this is where we can install different apps, DLLs, fonts, and settings into our wrapper. So I can click search packages and I could search Ubisoft, then hit the drop down arrow next to apps. And you can see here we have the Ubisoft Connect installer. I could check it and then hit run if I wanted to install it into the wrapper, but we want Steam. So let's search Steam, hit the drop down next to apps, and here's Steam. So I'm gonna check it and then hit run. It'll ask if we want to run the following command and we can hit yes. Sikaru Gear will automatically download and install all the necessary files for running Steam. Once you get the wine tricks commands finished message, we can click close and then we can click browse here and go to program files x86, steam and choose steam.exe. So now when I double click my steam wrapper, my steam exe is what will be launched. To change a wrapper's icon, we can simply drag a custom icon into this little icon window right here. To apply the icon, I can drag the wrapper into my dock, which is also a great way to quickly access it. So back to our wrapper's configure window. We can next choose which graphics backend we want to use to run our games. So Direct3D to Metal is D3D Metal, which uses Apple's game porting toolkit. There's also the DirectX to Metal translation layer, also known as DXMT. And then our last option is DirectX to Vulkan, which is DXVK. So I want to play the game Animal Well, and I know that that works best right now with D3D Metal. So I'm going to check D3D Metal, and then the next thing I'm going to do is go to Options. This is where we can choose whether we want to use M-Sync or E-Sync. For those that don't know, these are options that can help games run more efficiently on Mac. Note that both M-Sync and E-Sync are checked by default, and when both are checked, your wrapper will use M-Sync. I would leave this section alone unless there's a specific reason you need to mess with it. So now I'm going to go back to configuration, and the last thing I'm going to do is connect an external drive so I can download my games to that and not directly to my Mac. I'm going to plug in my external drive to my Mac. This one is called Ruby. And in my drive, I'm going to make a new folder and call it Steam Games. This is the folder where I want Sikaru Gear to download all of my Steam Games to. Once I have my folder created, I can go back to my wrapper's configure window, click on Tools, and then select Config Utility. Once the Wine Configuration window pops up, we can go to the Drives tab, and here is where we're going to add the drives that we want Sikaru Gear to be able to access. So we're going to click add and we're going to select a drive letter. I'm going to use X. Once you have your drive letter selected, you can click OK. Next, click browse and scroll all the way down to volumes. Find your external drive and select the folder that you want your games downloaded to. So I have my Steam Games folder selected. I'm going to hit OK, apply and then OK. Now my wrapper has access to my external drive. All right, I think we're ready to launch the wrapper. So the way we have it configured, my steam.exe is going to be launched. It's going to use D3D Metal to run the games. And I think I'm just going to check the performance HUD so that we have that for my game testing. All right, I think we're ready to go. 
So I'm going to exit out of the configure window and I'm going to go to my dock and launch my steam wrapper by clicking it. If you're using an external drive, once Steam is open and you're logged into your account, you can click Steam in the top left-hand corner and go to Settings. Then go to Storage. You can click this drop-down menu here and click Add Drive. And you can see it automatically detects the X drive. So I can click Add and then when I go to download a game, I can now choose to install it to my internal drive or the external drive. So let's choose the external. You can see that if I go to my external drive, Ruby, and go to Steam Games, we now have a Steam Library folder here, and if we go in there, you can see that the game downloaded into our Steam Games folder on the external drive. Alright, let's launch Animal Well, a PC-only game, and see how it runs. That's a quick look at how to use Sikiru Gear on Mac. If you mainly just want a game without the extra setup, Crossover 25 is still the best option. But if you like tinkering and want more control over your game testing, Sikaru Gear is great as well. Hopefully this guide made it a little easier to get started. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.